Okay, y'all. So here's the skinny. Um, down low. Deal. Where do I look? They're dry as a popcorn fart. <laughs> That's what we're singing tonight. First time I've done this. Ugh. Well, for the first time in a few weeks, we get to feed cows ground corn. How about them apples? on the ground for hay <laughs> we um we really wish we could have just combined them all but being right here on the river there's always that fear that the dan is going to get them case in point it's hurricane that could have gotten them so we're doing this and because we really really need the hay sometimes you just have to make those choices Right, Bonnie? I know nothing about beans, but I do know that these beans look good. <laughs> hmm. So, the ones that will combine are up here, up on the higher side, which if the river was to get out, there would be less chance of them getting got. How's that for... Amazing grammar. Amazing.
will follow corn. feeling from Dorian which is not too bad really worried about the East Coast about the eastern part of our state in South Carolina they've had some pretty major stuff going on tornadoes today we've got friends and family I'm worried about but we are just expected to get some wind and maybe a little bit of rain it's just amazing that a storm can be so far away and still Still feel it here. Hmm, it's usually your sister. <laughs> My boy. Guess what we have, y'all? Very loud. We have a dinner bell. For the farmer when he can't hear me. What are these? We also have There's a 40 uh pipe. What is this stuff called? Pipe cleaners. We have pipe cleaners. Breakfast time. <laughs> Sunday slushy. We're gonna do some Sunday raking and bailing. She's hooked up and ready to go. Huh. basically one big field out here. Yeah, it's got a swale down to it. Up there. But it's the smell. Okay, y'all, so here's the skinny um, down low. Deal. Where do I look? I look over here. Um, so, what we are attempting to do is something that I haven't done before. My husband's done it. We have some soybeans that we would love to combine, which I've already told y'all, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, we need more hay. So, we've decided to cut some we got about 30 acres or so to cut for hay he cut them a few days ago he's tetted them once they're dry as a popcorn fart <laughs> oh, that is funny that's a funny one my kids think that's funny it kind of is but anyway I digress so we're gonna have to do something I've never done which is bail at night because they have got to get an order it's my husband says order they got to get an order so um we just went to check them and there's they're just crunchy dry so we're hoping <laughs> maybe by 7 maybe by 10 maybe by 2 a.m i don't know that they're gonna get in order they're gonna get some moisture on them we have a couple weeks ago we had nothing but dew until like two o'clock every afternoon well the last several days there's been no dew <laughs> so dry so um we're gonna see how this goes but i had to go down there and be shown where the ditches are this is not land that we have grown hay on before it's right next to our farm my truck my truck is hiccuping and it's not the gas y'all i have a half a tank of gas i don't know what that was anyway whoo so many rabbits i'm chasing here 
So we're gonna see how this goes. And it will be dark. And I did order a new little suction cup thingy, but I don't know that it's gonna matter if it's dark. But <laughs> I'll be sure to let you know how this goes. So here's hoping they come in order. Order, order. Or I'm gonna get him to say it. You'll see how he says it soon. Okay, I'm recording you. Can you say something really quick? No. Pronounce when you say the beans are coming in what? Order. Yeah. Order. 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 <laughs> well, this is a first, y'all. First time I've ever been getting in my tractor at sunset. <laughs> Hopefully, to go rake. Yeah, here we go. And I've already been given a proper lesson on where the lights are. Where the lights are. Right here. Dimmer. Check. Okay. Radio on. Check. Okay, here we go. Air on. Check. All right, here we go, kids. And he's off and he's anxious. He's hoping it's going to be damp enough to bail, which just doesn't sound right. So I didn't really explain very well about the bean hay if this is not familiar if you're not familiar with this it would be it's leafy okay so it would be like baling alfalfa which is not something that we bail around here either but because it's so leafy it's dry and it's too dry to bail so if we tried to bail it it would break all apart so that's why it needs some dampness to it it needs to be in order so, we're hoping when we get down there it will be, especially since we're taking all the equipment. And this is uh, a couple miles from the house, so here we go. It's not, it's just not normal around here to bail hay this time of day. <laughs> This is like, this is what people do in Arizona, parts of Texas. I don't know. I mean, I've only seen it on TV. I mean, on the computer. Yeah, it's just different. So, um, I would have said that this would never, would never be bailing hay when it was like this, but it's what you get when you say never. Never say never. Oh, golly, I just hope it's okay when we get there. It was crunchy dry just four hours ago. Bumpy. This good old red dirt rain. There's a first time for everything. That's what we're singing tonight. First time I've done this. I'm really nervous. I'm, I'm nervous because it's a field I've never raked in before. There's ditches. It's going to be dark. Um, I'm nervous that they're not going to be right. They're not going to be ready to go. So, here's hoping. Well, 
down. It's better than it was. There's definitely a lot of stalk in this, which is not preferable, but um, he said actually having a little stalk would help make up from, for some of the moisture not being in the leaves. Uh, this is just, it's another, this is just another example of how a situation where things are not perfect, but we're just gonna have to make do with what we've got to make do with and um, hope for the best. We need this hay. So, we're gonna make it. It's gonna be better than nothing. Said we'll wait a little bit. It is getting better. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be compared to what it was four hours ago. Yep, the sun was shining hot. There's 90 degrees. I know. I still didn't think. of the edge a bit because it's just not much there but a bunch of dust <sighs> give me grass hay and sunshine please one thing I will say I'm thankful for is these two cab tractors because I don't know, six or eight years ago, we would have been doing this with no cabs and literally eating nothing but dust. So there's, there's a bright side. And on top of that, there's mosquitoes down here big enough to tote you off. So there's another plus. <laughs> there is just sunshiny plushes all, pluses all around. You just gotta look for them hard sometimes. It's hard for me to tell if I left some down there. So I'm going back to the end <laughs> to see. It's so dusty, y'all. Well, we're doing good, y'all. We made it to the last big field. No real problems other than the dust not not really knowing the size of the fields and them not being square and afraid I missed some hay but I think I've done pretty good. Woo! All you people out in the west that have to do this all the time at night you can have it. <laughs>
Woo! Done this tonight, y'all. I'm, I'm feeling a little proud of myself. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <sighs> I'm ready to find my bed though. <sighs> Done. Get some of this stuff off. Oh my gosh. Little rake, you done good tonight. I gotta name my rake. I think I'm gonna name it Rita. I've been thinking about that and I just hadn't done it. So, oh, it's got stuff. Oh, bless your heart. got bean vines or something all up on it. Anyway, I might have to work on that tomorrow. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, they're all twisted around here. Oh. You doing good, girl? And there was light. Me and Rita. We did all right tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to call it a night, though. Looking at the moon. It's just different. It's just been a little weird. A little weird doing this at nighttime, but we made it. Hub said I did a good job, so if he said I did a good job, then I'm cool with that. Let's go home. Let's go home. Well, after he's done bailing, let's go home. <laughs> okay, it's Monday. Going full swing, full tilt, full bunny, full bunny. Mm -hmm. About to do the farmer tractor shuffle get things here and there so that hay can get hauled out and I'm a little anxious to see what it looks like in the light of day. Hello Gleaner. The Gleaner has got to come out because evidently the hay's going in the barn. That's good. That means it's good hay. Woohoo. Hello Gertie. She's had a little rest. I really don't know where he's going. He's probably, he'll let me know if I need to move though. He needs eyes. I'll try to be eyes. You're good. We've got it all day, kind of. pretty. Yay! They should be able to go in the barn, no problem. Hey, Belle baby, hey. I see some leaf. <laughs> oh. Lawrence was saying this is definitely not our best hay, but it's the best we've got and that's why it's going in the barn. Said if he had better grass hay, it would be in the barn, but we just don't this year. We just don't. We just haven't had a great hay year. So, make do with what we got. That's 
basically the story of our life and we're happy to have happy to have it <laughs> i'm just happy it all worked what is it checking the moisture in it mm. tight bell in it i used to have to do this with my old job i always had a hard time it's chicken high but it's it's not squatting though no it ain't squatting it's that more it won't go in the barn right there it won't go right now okay you got the leaf stuff on what? It's got leaf on it. Yes. And a whole lot on the ground, he said. <laughs> yes. Golly. Oh well. Do the best we could. I think we got 52 bales off about 30 acres. It's not too bad. And so the unloading game begins. My good boy. He just started homeschool co-op today. They go once a week. Just picked him up. Got him a frosty and a sandwich and dropping him off to go help his dad. He's a good kid. Should be four loads, so should only be three more loads. We'll get it done tonight. Today. Hopefully before tonight. <laughs> Bales are really heavy. My husband said they're probably about 2,500 pounds. <laughs> they're so heavy. He said he could tell they were really heavy. They were coming out of the baler last night. So what he's doing is he's putting them outside for now because the moisture was testing kind of high. And then hopefully we'll transfer them to the barn. So like I said, it's about the best we've got. <laughs> So we're gonna put it under shelter. Um, we always do that with our best hay. The other gets put out here in this road. So that's that. Last one. all week I'm ready for fall I really am and some rain man we need some rain bad got here just in time to catch the last two bales getting loaded There we go. And the rest of the beans we will combine. Hey, Bonnie. Um, I haven't quite got the cartwheel down yet. <laughs> Woo! my boy. It'll be time for you to drive a tractor scene. 
What do you think? <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> or we know what you will be. Right, Bonnie? Mm -hmm. But she'd be a really good lazy driver. <laughs> no lazy driver. 